back. I have to tell you, I was very surprised at the library the last time I went. Of all the times I have been there, I have never discovered this character, Mr. Putter and his cat, Tabby. What a whole new reading series that I discovered. Maybe you already knew about Mr. Putter and Tabby. They are a very good pair and they are good company to each other. Mr. Putter looks a little bit older than maybe your dad. Maybe he looks about as old as your granddad. He's retired and it's been a long hot summer and he and Tabby haven't done much of anything. They're getting a little bored or as Mr. Putter calls it, they're going, getting a little itchy to be out and doing something fun. All they've been doing is just staying around the house and eating orange popsicles. And then Mr. Putter has an idea because he knows his neighbor always has adventures and she's a lot of fun. Her name is Mrs. T. Berry. She lives next door with her pal Zeke. This is Zeke in the swimming pool and there's Mrs. T. Berry reading and relaxing. So when Mr. Putter calls up and says, we need an adventure, Tabby and I, we're bored. Mrs. T. Berry has a wonderful idea. She picks up the guys and takes them on an excursion boat. An excursion boat is I like a tour boat. Excursion is a fancy word. And you can buy tickets and go out on the boat and they'll take you places or point out the sights and then bring you back. Well, here we see Mr. Putter on the front of the excursion boat. The wind is blowing and Mrs. T. Berry's having a good time and Zeke is too. Now Tabby's eyes are kind of big and he's looking overboard like he might be feeling a little bit seasick. Poor Tabby, I hope you feel better soon. It's a fun, fun day for Mr. Putter and his friends. Now, the thing that surprised me was that the boat captain even gave out treats on the boat and he gave out orange popsicles. So our friends were very, very happy. If you like these characters, look at the back of this book. There are about 20 more stories about Mr. Putter and Tabby. There is Mr. Putter and Tabby walk the dog, fly the plane, paint the porch, stir the soup, clear the decks, make a wish, and many, many more. I know you'll enjoy these characters by Cynthia Relant and Arthur Howard, who drew the pictures. Well, if I go to a school class, which I do a lot, and I ask the children, what some of their favorite books are, I always hear one answer for sure. Junie B. Jones. Oh, here she is. And this book is special because it has color pictures in it. And most of the time, Junie B. Jones books don't. But this is a special anniversary book. That means Junie has been around, or I should say Junie B, don't forget the B, has been around a long time and they made a special book of one of our favorite stories, Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. Now Junie B, I like her a lot to read about her but she's very different than I am and probably different from you because she uses words like stupid that aren't very nice. It's fun to read about her, but I would never ever act like Junie B. Sometimes when she does things wrong, I kind of laugh, but I would never do them myself. I would be so embarrassed and I wouldn't want to get in trouble like she does. Well, it's the beginning of school for Junie B. And she goes to meet her teacher, 
And on Meet the Teacher Day, and her teacher's very, very nice, but in this picture, we see Junie B in a special hat that her granddad gave her. It has horns on it. Hmm. And then she tells the teacher, look at my shiny shoes, and she sticks them up in her face, and she tells her that they are shiny because she licked them. Oh, Junie B, no wonder your teacher looks like she might be getting sick. She's going, oh goodness. And then things don't get much better because Junie B's mom and the teacher let her know that she's going to, to ride the school bus to school when it's a real school day. Junie B has a fit and says she doesn't want to ride the smelly school bus. But she does because that's the way she must get to school. Here we see a picture of her on the bus, and the children look very crowded. This little girl has her hands up and looks like she's pushing Junie B, maybe by accident, I hope, because we never, ever push people on the school bus. But this little girl does, and instead of saying, oh, oh, you pushed me, or oh, please be careful, Junie B doesn't say that. She just starts pushing back and she falls down. Her skirt gets stepped on and all the kids get in a big, big fuss over the school bus and pushing. So her day has not started off very well when she yells, stop it, to her, her friend on the bus. The day goes on and on, and I'm afraid Junie B is full of a lot of mischief. She decides that when it's time to go home, she doesn't want to ride the bus, and she's not going to. Imagine if you are a bus rider and you don't get on the bus in the afternoon. What if you hid somewhere? Oh, you would be in so much trouble and so many people would be worried. Your mother or your babysitter, your teacher, your principal, your school bus driver, everybody would be calling for you, maybe even the police. Oh, you would be punished so badly for that. But that's what Junie B does. Like I say, boys and girls, it's fun to read about her, but don't ever act like her. If you do like her stories, there are many, many more, and you can meet her friends like Grace. And don't forget, if you're calling her name, be sure to call her Junie B, and you know the B stands for Beatrice. This book is special in another way. At the end of the book, the author sits down for an interview with Junie B. An interview is a fancy word for when a reporter or someone sits down with another person and they ask them questions and then the person tells them about themselves. In this interview, I'm afraid Junie B forgets to be polite because when she asks the author a question, the author says, well, and she answers the question and then she calls, she says to Junie B, and that's how it happened, sweetie pie. And Junie B says, do not call me sweetie pie. Oh, that's so rude. It kind of makes me laugh, but I would never do that if someone was interviewing me. I hope you'll remember your manners. But remember too, it's fun to read about the mischief in Junie B. Jones and all her stories. I couldn't tell you about a series of books without talking about the Fancy Nancy books. But today I have a special surprise. My series has grown. You know how I have the Fancy Nancy books where I'm the star, and I have the Fancy Nancy chapter books for when I am older, and there are going to be eight of those. Well, now we have a part of this series, my sister Jojo. 
and she's going to be the star of this book. The title is Jojo and the Big Mess, and Jane O'Connor, my author, wanted to write some books about Jojo too. And I'm so happy that Robin Price Glasser included my dog Frenchie in the book. Jojo and the Big Mess. Well, you know from my stories, Jojo does make some messes because she's kind of little. One of the messes she makes in this story is when she's helping cook spaghetti. That's one of the messiest foods we can eat, but one of the most delicious. Look what happens to Jojo when she's making spaghetti. But she tells us her daddy isn't mad, and he just washes her off in the tub. Everything's fine. And then one day, she's helping her dad with the yard work. Frenchie is too. And they get the hose, and they're watering the flowers in the garden, and Yes, Jojo made another big mess, a muddy mess. But she tells us Daddy's not mad. He just hoses them off in the pool. So Jojo just goes on making messes. And one day, Freddie comes over. Freddie is her good friend, and he also happens to be Bree's little brother. So Jojo's friend and my friend are sister and brother. When we get to playing in this story, or I should say Jojo gets to playing, she and Freddie have a pillow fight. And the feathers come out of the pillow and go all over the room. This time, Jojo tells us Daddy is mad. This is a different kind of mess for Jojo. And sometimes another kind of mess we talk about is when we get into trouble, we say that could be a mess of trouble too. And I think that's the kind of mess Jojo has now. I hope you will enjoy Jojo's books and all the Fancy Nancy stories because Jane O'Connor and Robin Price Glasser are keeping very busy with that series. And very soon, I will have some new Fancy Nancy books to show you. Until next time, enjoy your school time, enjoy reading, enjoy our friends who have series in the library, and find the characters you enjoy the most and try to read all the books in the series. Wouldn't that be fun? Maybe your big sister is reading a book with the title Magic Treehouse. It's a series, too, of chapter books. They're fun, too. As old as you get, you will always find book series and authors and characters that you enjoy. So get out there and explore and find the ones that you enjoy the most. Thank you for coming to the book club today. I hope to see you soon when I'm out visiting classes. And until then, let me hear from you. Draw me a picture, send me a letter. I love getting mail. And there will be information on the screen to tell you how to do that. Keep reading, my friends. Until next time, au revoir.